So uh, we are here uh, with the, the small delegation of the of the cluster, the maritime cluster uh, of Ukraine, uh, which is, that is led by uh, our colleague uh, Olena Zuhova. Now we could consider Olena as our colleague here in Romania. <laughs> she's uh, more present here and uh, she's doing a fantastic uh, job uh, trying to bridge these uh, two uh, parts of the border. So uh, we would like to thank you for uh, accepting our invitation. And uh, we are uh, extremely pleased that uh, today we are launching a very unique type of activities between, uh, between Romania and Ukraine. And uh, this is really fantastic. This is uh, something uh, really unbelievable how uh, the story is changing. And uh, let's say uh, the, the, the real, the truth uh, of, the, of the, let's say, um, um, the quality of the people is getting out. And uh, we are really happy that we are uh, trusting this uh, reality. And um, I uh, would say that uh, besides of all the horrors of this war, we uh, have also a very important achievement. And this achievement is actually the discovery of our friendship and our very close uh, ties. So uh, I would like to introduce uh, here just uh, some of the very important uh, colleagues uh, and uh, personalities who are supporting uh, this activity. So I would talk about uh, Professor Mikhailo Zgurovsky, member of the Academy of uh, Ukraine. Professor Zgurovsky is also the previous Minister of Education of Ukraine. Maybe you have to stop also the microphone. Yeah. So uh, uh, Professor Skorovsky is the previous Minister of uh, Education and uh, he did unbelievable, um, let's say, uh, uh, activities in promoting science and uh, innovation uh, between uh, the universities in Ukraine and uh, not only, uh, bridging uh, also this, um, uh, let's say, gap that we used to have between universities and companies. So thank you very much uh, for joining us. Thank you for all your team from uh, Igor Sikorsky National Technical University of Ukraine. It's, it's our honor. Yes, thank you very much. So um, I would like also to, uh, did you succeed to enter, Olena? Yeah. yeah. So uh, we, I would like also to introduce Mr. Jalustan. He is uh, the director of the Romanian Association of Shipbuilders, an association that is uh, very traditional here. And uh, in uh, here in Romania, I don't know uh, if you are familiar with this, but. Uh, the shipbuilding sector is one of our success stories, we could say that from 1950s up to now, Romania succeeded to have a very large uh, sector, very important uh, also at the world scale. And at present, of course, uh, more than 10,000 employees are involved directly into this sector. So Mr. Stan, thank you for joining us. Good day, good day for everybody. Thank you very much, too. Thank you. So uh, with your uh, permission, I would like now to introduce uh, the lady of this <laughs> meeting, uh, Olena Zukova. She, uh, she is uh, an expert uh, uh, naval architect and an expert in uh, uh, ship design but uh, she is developing a very broad uh, 
uh, let's say, ta complex activity in, in uh, Ukraine. She was involved in uh, developing this cluster. She was involved in developing uh, different other um, activities. And uh, in the last uh, period, she is unrestly traveling all around here, developing many kinds of activities. And uh, with this said, Olena, please take the microphone. Let's start the meeting. Uh, good morning, uh, everybody, dear colleagues. Uh, uh, we would like, first of all, to thank uh, uh, the Chamber of Commerce of Constanza for uh, organizing, hosting this uh, event, and uh, uh, Professor Mahmoud for arranging uh, such important uh, meeting and bridging, building these bridges in the difficult time between our community. And uh, I also would like to thank uh, some of the participants whom I have met during this week, and we could conduct some uh, preliminary talks about how we can support each other and boost the businesses uh, right now or in the near future, despite the difficulties of the war. We uh, came here to represent uh, uh, Ukrainian Maritime Cluster, the organization which uh, unites uh, maritime uh, players of southern Ukraine, but also the national cluster uh, open for all members. And uh, we have members uh, from uh, different uh, cities. We grow our community right now, and we hope that uh, uniting now will help us to go through the difficulties, through the challenges and threats, and will uh, sustain our businesses and let us stay on innovation and development agenda as we did before the war, together with the same partners, but uh, maybe now we have more prerequisites to be together and go ahead. So thank you very much for uh, organizing uh, such event and uh, we are very open uh, for cooperation. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Doctor. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Dr. So, uh, so uh, I would like now to be for introducing. Uh, so uh, I would like to introduce now Mrs. Ruxanda Sarescu. She is the general director of the Chamber of Commerce of Constanza. And uh, we could say that uh, we uh, have a very nice partnership. Uh, and also uh, the Chamber of Commerce of Constanza is hosting, let's say, the physical part of this uh, meeting. So Mrs. Sarescu, please. Thank you very much for uh, for inviting me, and I'm uh, I'm honored to be here. Uh, I want to say that uh, regarding the the Ukrainian issues, um, since the war started, we established an information desk for assisting the Ukrainian citizens who wanted to relocate their businesses here in uh, in Constanza, and we already had around uh, 30. Uh, Ukrainian citizens that um, established uh, their companies here and they um, um, they are coordinating their businesses and we are giving them all the support. So, so you can uh, count on us uh, or as a, a partner uh, for good uh, for cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, in order to uh, uh, say uh, uh, the subject, subject I know that uh, before I am the team because it's difficult to introduce your team and you can say a few words uh, uh, the other colleagues uh, from the, the cluster, the maritime cluster, and then we will introduce the maritime cluster. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot for both. I'm very glad to introduce my colleagues because uh, we uh, really are ready for many years uh, feel the community of cooperation with our shipyards. We uh, visit uh, open uh, the shipyards in Galati and in Mumbai. And uh, before the war, we have already had some connections and good feelings. But uh, now, even more, we could combine some of our business trips and are involved in cluster activities. My colleagues from MDM, from our engineering company in Ukraine, Daman Engineering Company in Ukraine. Uh, we are uh, Stasi Vignov, uh, the uh, member of the engineering committee in the Ukrainian Maritime Cluster. And, and also, we uh, our colleague Alexander Levit, he is a general manager in uh, 
uh, an email, but uh, also following this agenda because uh, you know, administration, uh, cluster activities, and staying together with the community uh, became a regular item on our agenda. So we have a plan to support cluster activities uh, on the name of our company and uh, on the invitation of the organizers. So thanks a lot. Uh, I start to ask you to share the presentation, please, uh, on the screen, and then uh, uh, we will make an introduction of uh, Ukrainian and Russian. As uh, I would uh, not uh, say that it's uh, too much to thank our Romanian colleagues and Romanian people for welcoming Ukrainian population and Ukrainian businesses during this difficult time. Uh, there is uh, about 200 people only from our organization who are uh, in uh, Romania. They are uh, very nicely, they start learning Romanian language, they go to send their children to schools. So it is uh, uh, helping them to go through this difficult time. But uh, now, in uh, more, we would like to uh, build cooperation on the organizational level between the uh, public unions, between chambers of commerce, between the consortium partners. Also, uh, Nikolai uh, Regional Chamber of Commerce is a part of all these projects. Um, also, our university partners, uh, our uh, local government uh, authorities. So, this uh, uh, makes sure that we will share information and do the best uh, unitizing effort uh, to both of these uh, together. So, our organization, next slide, please, for public union. It is a union of uh, companies and organizations of uh, not a uh, uh, state uh, uh, form, uh, state owned companies or other organizations. They are associated members. Uh, however, we unite all in order to uh, make a platform to connect all the organizations. Or we will say waterborne because it's all not limited to the sea and the business is uh, only. We uh, also want to uh, develop together maritime economy, blue economy in uh, Ukraine and in the region in cooperation with international partners. And we want to develop the ecosystem, the environment, which will uh, help uh, uh, innovation development and growth of our businesses. These are our main. Uh, Next slide, please. These are our uh, main prerequisites how we started the organization. This quite young organization, uh, the cluster, the, uh, together with our partners, the founders, the uh, center of business support, also present here. I see already Olga here in our meeting. Uh, the two organizations who uh, uh, participated in uh, joining the community on informal discussions and then some formal meetings and then cluster initiative laid down. So in 18 and uh, 19, we came to the conclusion that we need to uh, found an uh, organization in August 2020, public union was founded as a legal entity. Uh, now uh, we have uh, uh, more than 30 members and we are growing our membership uh, just following the uh, our activities. They are grow now uh, exponentially because uh, we found a lot of synergy in doing things together. Already in the first year, together with partners, we have implemented a couple of grant projects, which were mostly aimed at uh, our growth of our institutionalization, uh, developing our strategy, uh, thinking about uh, uh, four zero uh, technologies and how they can boost our segment and uh, uh, growing competences of the uh, cluster members and the team. So UMC is now also have an agreement with the Ukrainian Association of Shipbuilders, Kursut Prom, which is an older and much more mature organization uniting the shipyards and uh, their partners uh, already for 30 years. So uh, now we have reached an agreement to merge our membership and uh, join our informational space to pursue activities together. Because in this time, staying together uh, increases our chances of success. Uh, the focuses of uh, 2022 are mostly for uh, defense. We came up with the Nikolaev Defense Cluster Initiative. It's an initiative where we uh, explore opportunities, uh, how uh, companies, businesses uh, can uh, help uh, army 
in the defense of our city and uh, wider with the volunteer tasks and with uh, some supplies with helping population in this difficult time. Uh, we uh, managed to go through uh, preparation of the documents and I would like to thank Black Sea University Network once more for involving us, uh, uh, helping us to complete uh, the necessary documents and become a consortium member together with uh, Romanian, Bulgarian, Turkish and Georgian partners to uh, uh, be part of Project for Bees, a senior, uh, project uh, uh, called to uh, grow uh, blue businesses in Black Sea region. You see also an organization in the first place. Days as soon as the Ukrainian Plus Alliance came together, became a member, uh, supported this organization, and uh, regularly present and uh, seek opportunities to go together with uh, other big clusters of uh, Ukraine uh, representing other industries. Um, and uh, we hope that this also gives us a good uh, uh, grounds to build communication with the authorities, with donors and uh, gain synergy in uh, using the resources which are available to support Ukrainian businesses. We have other partnerships like uh, with uh, Greek Canadian uh, uh, supercluster, uh, but we started before the war and we also continue our activities with the government and intergovernment uh, uh, talks. So you can uh, see some of the logos here of our members divided into segments, our segments uh, are not uh, equally represented yet, but as I mentioned, with the organization, we will grow and work further. For example, to uh, add the uh, Seapool Sea and River Ports as members, uh, we are in contact now with the uh, association representing these players and hope also to conclude some agreements on how to go uh, further together. For example, in internationalization, like representing on the famous uh, and uh, popular exhibitions like SNM in Hamburg. Uh, next slide, please. You can uh, please visit our website and there you can find uh, more information about um, our member companies. Just uh, be aware that uh, the defense uh, companies uh, may have their websites blocked at the moment for security reasons. So uh, one of the first uh, uh, members of uh, our cluster and uh, one of the big shipyards in Nikolai, the Sokian shipyard, so they are, uh, you can find information about them on their website. Uh, they are uh, one of uh, important shipbuilders. They also pursue some seaport activities. They are ready to offer their services and uh, uh, offer cooperation. The construction itself may be difficult at the moment, but we would like to uh, bring uh, the opportunities for partly relocation, representing of the interest uh, here in uh, Romania. So more information can uh, get in the other sessions. Uh, uh, there will be also other activities later today. So I now very shortly represent the members and uh, their uh, main activities. Smart Maritime Group, freshly nationalized uh, company because of their uh, Russian ownership in the past. So they have two shipyards, one on the occupied uh, territory of Kherson, which is a pity and we're all uh, looking forward to reputation. And the, the uh, shipyard in Nikolai, Timoski shipyard, they also suffer frequent shelling like all of our industrial enterprises and uh, also open for cooperation in the future. Also, hopefully, we can represent them on the Senate and Humble. So, uh, we have uh, smaller uh, producers like Artel Marine, the uh, group uh, uh, of companies uh, designing, producing, and owning. and uh, uh, the small vessels uh, for river tourism, which is uh, uh, making uh, Nikolai uh, more attracting. Uh, before the war, it was playing its role, and after the war, I'm sure it will continue its activities to give uh, tourists a very nice tour. So coastal tourism one of the topics of for So we hope for such companies who can design, produce, and operate uh, uh, vessels to show the beauties of uh, south of Ukraine and Ukraine overall. Well, one of our uh, new members is the company Gulfstream Limited Language Company, uh, specialized now mostly on the uh, boat uh, uh, building. They uh, uh, developed a nice range of uh, small speedboats uh, from uh, uh, interesting uh, composite materials. And uh, also they have some expertise in piping work. So there, uh, there is a lot to explore as partners uh, together. Um, 
for building, shipbuilding, and other services on uh, board the vessel during construction in maritime and uh, you know, uh, businesses. Uh, one of our important uh, members of the cluster is uh, uh, state uh, defense industry holding Ukrabaron Pro. Their, co their company is belonging to this holding, and this is uh, uh, the uh, design and research, uh, Naval Design Research Center. Um, we, they have very long history of working in for uh, Navy. Uh, they have a lot of interesting concepts, and uh, we hope that in these difficult times, some of the ideas and experience, uh, which already under discussion, can be uh, translated into real cooperation and uh, uh, real power to defend the Black Sea coast and waters. And uh, I know that the representatives also here, please feel free later in the discussion to con uh, contact for concrete uh, initiatives. Next slide, please. Uh, one of uh, our players is Shipyard Palada, which is uh, also uh, already, uh, we have some talks about uh, cooperation with uh, Romania, with the Romanian shipyards uh, with, in Mongolia, and uh, they are specialized on uh, uh, floating docks uh, from uh, reinforced concrete as a special niche. They're very successful in this, all their products are still afloat. And uh, unfortunately, the shipyard is on occupied territories at the moment, but their team and their competence is, uh, say, uh, secured. Uh, and uh, we are looking for the ways to, uh, com to complete the commitments on the contract and serve their clients together with Romanian partners. We uh, have uh, such companies as uh, Cleaver in our uh, neighborhood cluster. That is private company uh, busy in defense sectors. They are specializing on development of integrated uh, systems for automation and also some weaponry. More precise information you can get from their website and from direct contact. Aksana is also uh, the member of our supervisory board, the director of this company. So uh, later in the discussion, we can establish direct contact. Of course, I'm happy to uh, present uh, MD, Marine Engineering Nikolaev, uh, the Daman uh, Engineering Company in Ukraine. It is, uh, uh, we are busy, uh, we are a multi service company working in engineering, ship engineering, but also providing uh, other services of technical nature and digital economical nature to Daman as a part of a corporation. So we also have our cooperation plans uh, together with uh, Daman here in Romania, but we also open to uh, cooperate with other players in Ukraine and in Romania. So uh, our uh, uh, other important big engineering company working under the uh, uh, Dutch brand Seajobs, Job Nikolai, also represented, represented here on our meeting, uh, specialized on uh, in the design and engineering in uh, maritime uh, and uh, for offshore construction. They uh, have also uh, a young but have an ambitious uh, team of engineers uh, in uh, Nikolaev also now relocated uh, what I have not mentioned as engineering company. They have a little better freedom during the war to relocate. It's not like shipyards who are uh, connected to the land and to the water. They cannot quickly move, so they, we need to think about more complex schemes of cooperation, whereas engineering companies continue their work on the economic front. Most of our engineers are at work, uh, although relocated uh, in Ukraine and abroad, and uh, pursue their activities to the satisfaction of the clients. All the contracts were done uh, high quality in time. Uh, then our startup company, uh, the young company Amica Digital, it is a, a part of a quite old and mature Amica group. Uh, companies, uh, they are specialized in measurement solutions for liquid petroleum products in OPG. There is an interesting portfolio which you could find on their website in uh, oil storage in maritime. Uh, in uh, nuclear power and chemical plants. So there is a lot of nice application of their system. So uh, given the interest uh, of corporate, they are also uh, advancing a lot in digitalization uh, and have uh, very uh, uh, advanced solutions, leading solutions with uh, working with the big data uh, collected from the sensor. So the intellectual systems uh, uh, they have some good experience to share. You're welcome for cooperation with them. I also think they would represent you in this meeting. 
uh, our partner, one of the founders of Maritime Cluster, Mikolai Regional Business Support Center, uh, they're also present on this meeting. They are our consortium partner in Forbes. Uh, they have a uh, great experience in projects to develop businesses uh, in maritime, particularly in aquaculture, and uh, in uh, developing uh, SMEs, uh, building networks, pursue training activities. They are, of course, busy now with the humanitarian uh, actions uh, and provide the city with drinking water with some supplies for the army. Also, can I uh, say more? But they still also, uh, irrespective of the Difficulties so were focused on developing uh, maritime and the blue economy community in uh, Ukraine and uh, build uh, strong co cooperations uh, along the Black Sea coast. Also, have experience international contracts and will uh, continue in consortium as consortium partner. I'm uh, glad to represent also our uh, uh, Nikolai Regional Chamber of Commerce. You can find information about the activities as part, of course, of the uh, Chamber of Commerce of Ukraine. And uh, they work uh, a lot nowadays on development plans for future economy because the peace will come. We are sure of our victory. And uh, then it would be nice to be prepared uh, to know uh, what kind of uh, actions need to take and what kind of resources are needed, what the knowledge is there, money is there. And, uh, that has to be also communicated well with the government, with ministries to have support to uh, put our enterprises uh, back to the normal and uh, be even more efficient, productive and profitable than they uh, have been before. They are also a consortium uh, member in uh, Prodis Associated Partner. As I have mentioned, we are representing also here Association of Shipbuilders of Ukraine, the big organization with uh, they are uh, 50 members. We uh, will late. We have we are completing memorandum with our most uh, say closest intentions. Next step we will do together for our community. Uh, also represented well in uh, Kiev and our capital. Also good connections with the ministries. We are looking forward to uh, keep uh, our governments uh, informed about the needs of our industries of. Uh, uh, the uh, help which could uh, support uh, companies during the war and after the war construction. So we don't hesitate to contact uh, our colleagues also. The cradle of a lot of our specialists uh, in the maritime, the National University of Shipbuilding in Kalayev, you see the beautiful building which was recently damaged by the rocket. And um, the, but they are working hard now and enrolling the students uh, to organize the study. Uh, process uh, to uh, restore the rooms and uh, make uh, the professors and the uh, lecturers safe with all information uh, available to uh, conduct high quality uh, study process. Also not uh, limited to bachelor's and master degrees, also continue work on science and research with PhD applicants. Also some of our colleagues apply right now this year, which uh, hopefully we can pursue these activities to utilize all our experience gained from integration. So um, we also have one of our first educational partners in the cluster is Polytechnical College of Nikolai. They also have been damaged by attack. They uh, used to prepare a lot of shipbuilders for working and for uh, middle management of the shipyard. And we hope they will continue the activities. Also, uh, some uh, donations are launched to help these uh, uh, members to restore their uh, buildings. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, quick introduction of uh, the governing bodies of our cluster. Artur Vashilenko is the chairman of the board, so that is a uh, uh, center of our uh, business uh, support. Uh, I'm the executive director, and we have four board members. Why I mention this? Because it's not only uh, uh, faces and names, we represent different branches, like Oksan, I mentioned the uh, Naval Defense Cluster. Uh, the uh, Igor Lisitsky uh, is, um, is employee of Ministry of uh, Strategic Industries, IT Infrastructure Department. Uh, Sergei Mokui is the uh, shipbuilder. Jan and uh, in a couple of generations uh, have expertise on all shipyards and uh, workers and uh, a lot of other production topics, also applicants for the PhD. And Alexander Yurchak, our Association of uh, Industrial Automation, 
uh, of Ukraine uh, or our board member and also uh, for this uh, partner in uh, project. Next slide. Uh, I would not uh, spend a lot of time on our usual strategic teams because we would like to support our businesses for export internalization, for developing labor market, innovation ecosystem growth, polarization of our industry, lobbying its interests for the government, attracting investment. However, in the current days, next slide, please, we are focusing more on, uh, okay, that we also can skip for now, you can find this information on our website. However, now, we are uh, joining our forces to help uh, our military units, our partners, uh, because they need to improve, uh, to, to strengthen, increase capacity of the training for uh, soldiers to go to, to use special equipment to go to the front. We also here have links on our website. You can see this picture. We uh, call for help if somebody would like to donate even a bit for restoration of our university and college. And we're also working on the initiative uh, center of social initiatives in Uzgarat, Western Ukraine, where we could relocate some engineers and their families. And that is led by our company, but we do it for the whole community. So uh, we welcome other who have to want to make security. So here we would uh, offer a couple of minutes uh, movie. Uh, about Nikolaev, that is for um, most who are Nikolaev, they will recognize very well what the streets and the buildings, and for the others, uh, just to share a little bit uh, our pain for what we see happening in our native city. <laughs> Feel the love, feel 
So thank you very much, uh, Dr. Zukova, for uh, for this presentation. It's um, really sad. Um, we, uh, when we were kids, uh, we heard about uh, the war, about uh, different uh, horrors uh, in this part uh, of our countries, and so on. But we we, uh, we were never thinking that uh, something like that uh, will uh, will come back, and. Uh, and unfortunately, will uh, uh, in some sense will shock many generations uh, from now on. Let us uh, welcome also Mr. Oleksandr Sienkiewicz, the mayor of uh, Nikolaev, a city that uh, uh, at present is worldwide recognized as a hero city. And uh, I would like to uh, uh, congratulate you, Mr. Mayor, for what you are doing there and for the, for the uh, citizens that are fighting and that they are resisting there against all odds. Thank you. Welcome to this meeting. Hello, colleagues, dear colleagues. Uh, it is- Your microphone is closed, just one second. This meeting. Yeah. It's okay. Can you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, now it's okay. Okay. Dear colleagues, thank you for uh, the invitation for this honorable event. Uh, first of all, I think we are doing things that everyone uh, will do in our place. I mean, in, a, in, in the situation that we are now. So uh, there is nothing about heroism. This, this is about survival and uh, saving life of peaceful people who just want peace and development of their country. But anyway, we have what we have, so we need to fight and uh, um, defend our independence and our people's life. So uh, dear colleagues, greetings to Black Sea University Network. Uh, it is really important for us that while these awful things in uh, Ukraine, we are staying connected with uh, Ukrainian maritime economy players. Uh, thanks for supporting development and growth of uh, waterborne business despite atrocities of war and um, welcoming to think together about future sustainable and innovative blue economy in Black Sea region. The situation in uh, Mykolaiv after almost half a year of the city, as you saw on this short video, is not really good. We are a frontline city, a daily attacks uh, by cruising missiles, by cluster bombs, by artillery. It's uh, 23 days since the beginning of the war uh, when we haven't been bombarded. So almost every day we are under shelling and missiles fall down. Military uh, and territorial defense pushing the enemy to the regional borders. Heavy battles uh, on the borderline. It's still on uh, about in, on outskirts of the city. It's about 20 kilometers from outside of the city. About 200,000 population still uh, stay in the city. Uh, uh, if you know, Mikolaev before the war had half a million people. Uh, destruction of the city infrastructure infrastructure is really hard. So uh, we have uh, in ruins educational, medical, uh, utilities, logistics. And uh, for now, these are three universities. One of them is a national university of shipbuilding and also Mikolaev Polytechnic College, uh, we, uh, which we proud of here in Mikolaev. Seaports are blocked, as you know, and uh, they are regularly shelled, they're under shelling. Uh, they're trying to destroy, I mean, Russian occupants, they're trying to destroy uh, all the infrastructure, including logistics for the future problems with the economy in our country. Big outflow of experts and specialists, for sure, I'm asking them to go out of the city to save their life because lives because it's most important thing for us, not these buildings and streets and trees, but the lives of the people who we are waiting to come back and to help to recover our economy and our city. 
So uh, evacuation of people, of population uh, still continue, but we hope uh, for, the, for the quickest victory of our army. And they, good, they, made, they made good results in pushing uh, enemy to the border of our region and then to Kherson. Situation in Black Sea region. Kherson is under Russians, uh, it's under Russian occupation. Odessa posting uh, refugees and defending from air attack. All uh, what is needed for army being collected from uh, all, all over Ukraine, international charity organization and uh, all uh, partners, foreign partners, our city sisters, our uh, Denmark partners, because Denmark uh, now uh, is, um, let's say, cares about the city of Mykolaiv. Tomorrow uh, we plan to sign the um, agreement between us about cooperation uh, in Kiev. So uh, we still need help because we have problem with the drinking water. Uh, Russians destroyed pipes, water pipes that brought raw water from Dnipro River uh, for 73 kilometers. So now we are using water from this, the river that we stay on, but we can clean saltness and softness for, for this water. So we still give people water from the water trucks where they can take it from, for free, but it's still, you know, uh, uh, let's say previous century. So, um, first of all, thank you for your support of, uh, uh, of current order portfolio. Uh, we need for, for this uh, support uh, for our uh, current portfolio clients and markets where Ukraine has difficult, difficulties to fulfill deliveries because of this war. Uh, for sure, uh, uh, as a mayor, uh, I have to be against relocation of our enterprises, but uh, for now, I am for uh, temporary relocation of maritime production to establish joint ventures, helping the competitors of uh, Black Sea players for joint sustainable future. And uh, for sure, we need to prepare now um, better specialists, better um, workforce for to develop Ukraine after the war. So. Thank you for, for the help of uh, upgrade of maritime educational programs and exchange of students and youth scientists that we for sure need. And uh, development of joint long-term strategies for boosting blue economy in Black Sea region. Uh, thank you for, and I welcome, uh, welcome to Constanta and Galaxy uh, uh, regions uh, and all Romanian businesses and organizations uh, to cooperation for our common peaceful and prosperable, pr prosperous future, uh, which I hope will be as soon as possible. Uh, thank you uh, and uh, good luck. Thank you also uh, for uh, for, uh, for for invitation, for Professor Mahmoud and. Uh, I hope this uh, cooperation will uh, go on and will be with more force. Thank you very much. I wish you a good and fruitful uh, day and cooperation in, in all the spheres. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Senkevich. Uh, for sure, uh, in this kind of moments, uh, we should not use this word thanks because it is something clear, usual, that being neighbors, we know each other better and we are doing what is usual and is normal to be done, to help each other, to support each other, to uh, feel the shoulder of the other next to us and uh, to uh, fight against uh, the evil uh, together. So uh, now, um, of course, uh, you are uh, in uh, such a difficult time at any moment we discovered that we could be also in this kind of uh, situations. And uh, in all these cases, the most important aspect is before helping you, other people that are at many thousands of kilometers far away, 
you we have to uh, do the human uh, things that has to be done so from that perspective it is usual and uh, we shall try to do our uh, best and thank you we know that you are very busy we shall uh, have some discussions also we have uh, the distinguished academicians Gurovsky here and uh, he is going to present a vision uh, for this we have um, uh, Dr. Bikescu that is the city manager in Galatz and we have also Dr. Jerustan that the director uh, of the Anconav Association, they will uh, now uh, start uh, their uh, speeches. But we would like to thank you for your time. And uh, between so many very urgent and many more urgent things, you have some minutes to come and join us. Thank you for this uh, very important uh, signal that you gave to the business community and to the citizens of your, of your city. Thank you. Now, uh, with your permission, uh, I would like to uh, introduce Academician Skurovsky. Academician Skurovsky, as I told you, is a well-known personality, not only in Ukraine, but uh, worldwide. Uh, yesterday, we had um, another meeting in the port of Constanza, trying to define a uh, cooperative framework for the ports from the Black Sea and uh, the Danube. And at that uh, time, we had also the privilege yesterday to have President uh, Emil Constantinescu, the former president of Romania for the mandate 1996-2000. And uh, when I have introduced academician uh, Constantinescu, I uh, was referring to uh, one of his books where the motto was from the Ecclesiast. You remember in the Ecclesiast, there is a, a phrase which is saying that there is a time for demolition and there is a time for building, for um, uh, creating. So, uh, Professor Zgurovsky, uh, starting from this uh, point, from the fact that uh, there are moments when uh, uh, the things uh, have to be uh, let's say, uh, destroyed just in order to restart again a construction. How do you see the future of cooperation in, uh, in our region between the communities from Ukraine and Romania? Thank you, Adam, for your introduction, for your questions. Dear colleagues, dear friends, we welcome you on behalf of Igor Sikorsky Kiev Polytechnic Institute. From our side, the participants of today's event are the team of uh, the core BIRS project, which is implemented as a part of the activities of the BSUN. Let me, as a representative of education and science of Ukraine, express some of my thoughts regarding the current situation around Ukraine and the prospects for Ukrainian-Romanian cooperation at this stage. Every war ends in peace. Having uh, defended their right to live in their own sovereign state, the Ukrainian people will return to a peaceful life. It will be necessary to rebuild the country. Some region will have to literally rise from the ruins. Naturally, it will be necessary to build a new, efficient, modern country with an economy focused on science-intensive industries with high standards of innovation. In this area, close cooperation between industrial and high-tech companies of Ukraine and Romania will be very important. At the same time, we will revive Ukrainian traditions. We will uh, preserve our national culture and restore our real history and not invent it in Moscow. All this will require people who must have a high education, know the current trends in technology development, be aware of the latest scientific discoveries, be able to cooperate with foreign colleges and communicate in foreign languages. They will need special knowledge and skills in their field, as well as, as an interdisciplinary approach and understanding 
of the relationship between different disciplines, technologies, and practices. This future builders of a renewed Ukraine need to be prepared today, which is why we try so hard to keep our traditionally strong scientific school at universities, in particular at the Igor Sikorsky Kiev Polytechnic Institute. On the other hand, we need to deepen cooperation with international, especially European scholars and scientists. Cooperation between Ukraine and Romania in this area is traditional, extremely important and very desirable at a new stage of the restoration of Ukraine. Now higher education and scientific research in Ukraine continues. During the war, Ukraine did not stop training specialists. Training continues also not in the usual format. Both the armed forces and industry need competent specialists. The economy in of Ukraine, uh, which the invite is trying to destroy, must function in wartime conditions. Ukrainian specialists and engineers, I believe, now conduct more special research than before because it's necessary to quickly respond to the needs of our national defense. After all, science is an integral part of the security and defense of the state. The war proved that not only soldiers on the battlefield can win a war, but also advanced technology engineers and scientists in the field of electronics, uh, computer science, new materials, or mechanics. Our enemy is very upset when we receive supply of modern uh, effective weapons from our Western partners. We are grateful, but to win, we need even more new types of system of modern uh, weapons, especially heavy weapons. Our armed forces successfully use domestic samples of advanced weapons, such as the Stugna anti-tank missile system, the Neptune anti-ship missile, which sent the Moscow missile cruiser, the spectator drone, and others. Now, in the, in the 21st century, a war between civilizations is taking place in Europe. People must realize that this war is not only a war between Russia and Ukraine, it's a war between civilizations. A war between the modern civilization of the 21st century, the driving force of which is human progress, and the archaic civilization, the essence of which is the long forgotten imperial model of the 19th century, which consists in the occupation of foreign territories and the enslavement of other peoples. Previously, Russia only talked about this mission. Now it's trying to impose a new world order, its own ideological imperative, law of force. At the same time, when Russia asks the world for special treatment, it rejects all norms of international law and traditions of coexistence and resort to crimes against humanity. This war has already drawn many countries into its orbit. Russia is using a hybrid form of aggression against Europe, blackmailing countries for energy supplies, uh, threatening to starve many countries in Africa and Middle East, and supporting far-right and far-left European parties. This, in turn, causes a migration crisis and contributes to the growth of terrorism and other foristic phenomena. Education, science, and technology should be a priority in today's world. Ukraine wants to be a sovereign state to keep within its borders the territory that historically belongs to it. To achieve this goal, the main priority for Ukrainian society should be the development of advanced technologies based on science and advanced education. We see how this governance model works in countries where all technologically advanced 
and innovative areas have political support and motivation. For countries that must constantly defend their independence, such as Israel, South Korea, Singapore, and some others, and advanced education, the latest technology and breakthrough scientific solutions are the highest political and governmental priorities. The development of advanced education and science should also be one of the highest priority of Ukrainian politics. After all, by creating highly intelligent products and protecting uh, intellectual property, we will provide jobs and ensure GDP growth. Instead of exporting raw materials, according to the formula, grow grain, sell grain, we will offer high-tech products with high added value. In this way, the country will become both safer and richer. We will know other choice. This is the lesson of this war, which should be learned by managers at all levels, from the heads of scientific research institutions and in drug industrial enterprises to the highest political leadership of the state. Ukrainians and Romanians share a border of 900 kilometers. Um, both nations are united by the Orthodox religion and culture. They are connected by the Black Sea. They are close to each other in terms of social, social structure, everyday life, and both art and have lived peacefully side by side, by side for centuries. As an EU member state, Romania is in a more advantageous position using community resources and the opportunity to become an instrument of EU's Black Sea policy. Such a situation expands the possibilities of international uh, interaction between Ukraine and Romania, both at the regional and pan-European levels. This applies to such areas as the development of democracy and the improvement of economic cooperation, regional cross-border uh, links, fishery and maritime tourism, energy security, and other areas. It's necessary to use all opportunities for cooperation in order to increase the interest of Romania and the EU in Ukraine as one of the main European partners. An important step towards this cooperation is the core bids project in which our university has the honor to participate. Why is this project so important for us? First, we have the necessary specialists. Secondly, we have resources and tools. With a 10-year history of startup acceleration and holding the annual Sikorsky Challenge Festival of innovative projects, our specialists know exactly how to work with entrepreneurships and investors, including those in the blue economy sector. And thirdly, we are motivated. It's expected that the obvious project will strengthen the innovating potential of small and medium-sized business in Ukraine. Zerbi contributing to the recovery of our country's economy after the war. In this difficult time, there is no more inspiring goal for us than this one. Good luck and fruitful work for to all of us. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Academician Zurovsky. Thank you for this very inspiring uh, speech where uh, you pointed out on um, the current realities, the existing advantages on behalf of Ukraine, but also on the partnership with, with Romania, the need for uh, emphasizing the education aspects and the tools that we already have for uh, cooperating. Uh, I would like also once again to thank for the uh, importance that uh, you underlined for the project for these. Yes, um, during the launch, uh, official launch of the project in uh, Brussels that uh, was at the beginning of July, 
the Commission mentioned that this project might be one of the platforms for the future. So from that perspective, uh, it is a very uh, important uh, support coming from the European Commission for, uh, for this uh, framework that we are building. So thank you very much for all these ideas. And uh, thank you again for uh, involving the whole team of the very prestigious University Igor Sikorsky National Technical University of Ukraine. Now, with your permission, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Vikescu, not as a professor of the, Danube, the Lower Danube University, uh, where he is um, uh, involved, but as the city manager of uh, one of the landmark cities of our region, the Galatia municipality, that uh, traditionally it has been uh, over the centuries, the most important port now, of course, is under the shadow of Constanza. <laughs> but uh, in any case, there is uh, enough uh, room for uh, uh, building this uh, partnership. So Dr. Bikescu, please, you have the microphone. Thank you, Professor Mahmoud. And uh, first of all, let me say hello to everybody. And uh, I will start my uh, speech saying that Romanian people support Ukrainian people. This is the most important thing I, uh, I must say in this moment, because there are difficult moments from uh, Ukrainian people. And we, citizens from Romania, support and uh, give everything to, to be peace in the region. I will start in, say, why Galati? Galați is one of the most important cities in Romania, in the southeast uh, uh, of Romania, and uh, it is uh, one of the most closer city to Ukraine. To Ukraine. So, in this, um, I can say right now we uh, have discussion. We we discuss with uh, a lot of colleagues from Ukraine, a lot of uh, companies from Ukraine who came in Romania, who came in Galatz, and they start uh, business uh, in, uh, in Galatz. Uh, today with me, it's, uh, it is uh, the director of uh, Free Zone of uh, Galatz, and uh, we'll try to, to explain why Galatz is uh, very important in this equation. Uh, we have also two university, one a, sta a state university and uh, one private university. The state university, which is my university, we have uh, 14 faculties. Uh, we have uh, a naval uh, industry in Galatz. We have uh, a big harbor in, in Galatz. We have uh, a siderurgical uh, uh, industry in in Galatz. That's why we are important, and we try to to make collaboration between our countries and uh, our um, uh, I don't know how to say our people must uh, must go 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 well. So I would like to to ask my colleague from uh, Free Zone to to put the presentation, and after that we uh, will discuss. <laughs> Hello, uh, if it is possible, uh, I would like to ask uh, the host of this meeting to, to put on the presentation I have sent. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of the director of the Free Trade Zone Galat. Uh, my name is George Dudu, uh, at the compartment of marketing. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I think uh, you are aware that uh, Galat has a long tradition of uh, free port starting from the 19th century. And uh, this tradition is uh, today continued by the Galat free trade zone, uh, which is uh, basically a uh, space encircled uh, where the uh, customs, taxes and uh, VAT are exempted for payment for the goods uh, introduced inside the uh, premises of the free zone. So we act like an industrial area where uh, 
businesses from uh, everywhere around the world can uh, invest and open productive facilities, commercial and uh, also uh, transit uh, operation. Uh, due to the latest developments in Ukraine and the war with uh, Russia, we have seen an important uh, increase in uh, the flux of uh, commodities and uh, goods, especially cereals and uh, other uh, uh, metal parts and uh, even, uh, uh, even uh, fuels coming from Ukraine with the diverse company from this area or uh, in a concretion with Romanian one. <clears throat> we have an area about uh, uh, 80 hectares of uh, land that uh, is free to concession. And uh, this area offers easy access to the wide uh, gauge railway. Uh, so the connection with Ukraine is very well established. Uh, trains directly from uh, the Ukrainian space can, co can come directly inside the free trade zone without paying uh, custom taxes or being stopped at the border. Uh, we are uh, positioned in a, in, a good pos in a good area <clears throat> close to the, uh, close to the uh, future uh, city uh, belt of Galat which is in the construction right now and close to the uh, bridge over the Danube that is uh, almost finished and will be uh, operational at the end of the year. Um, also, the last free trade zone can offer you direct access for uh, companies that operate on naval transport. We have three birds at the Danube that can accommodate maritime, maritime size ships. Uh, the, the depth of the birth of the water at the birth of the Galat free trade zone is uh, between uh, four meter to five meter near the, the birth and nine meter to 15 meters uh, to the, <clears throat> uh, the second uh, row of ships. Uh, this uh, depth depends or can vary um, by the seasonal elevation of the Danube waters. Also, we can offer natural gas uh, access, a high power connection, and also running water. Uh, the main advantage of taking uh, land in uh, Galat's free trade zone is that you will uh, have a continuity for the business for almost 49 years and another 25 years uh, prolonging period. So for 75 years, the price you will uh, uh, contract the land will, be, uh, will remain firm and uh, will not be changed. Uh, this area is uh, interesting for, uh, uh, for businesses because it is very close to uh, Galati Liberty Steel Plant, the naval uh, shipyard Daman, and uh, also we have uh, a qualified workforce uh, with a university with uh, various technical uh, specializations. Um, We are open to discuss any type of uh, business proposals coming from uh, uh, Ukrainian partners or uh, another country around the Black Sea, uh, Turkey, or uh, other countries that are interested in opening here. Uh, quite uh, interesting point of uh, transit, commerce, and logistic uh, hub. We are welcoming you. If you have any other questions to contact us at uh, the email or the, uh, the website that uh, we have provided. And I thank you very much for your uh, invitation and uh, possible further discussion. Thank you. Thank you to, to my colleagues. So 
uh, as I told you, we uh, we have a free zone in in Galat. We have an industrial park in uh, in Galat. We have two universities. We have industry, and uh, we have uh, we try to to be open to anybody who want to do something in uh, in Galat. And we have a lot of companies who intended to work with companies from uh, from Ukraine. It's just uh, we must put it together, and to to because they really don't know how to do that. Uh, it it is in our hand to to make this possible, and uh, as I told you, we are open and uh, we are waiting. And uh, Professor Mahmoud, thank you very much because uh, you give us the opportunity to be here with you to express our point of view and uh, to tell again that we support Ukrainian people and uh, uh, this is it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Bikescu. Thank you for uh, also for these arguments that you presented. Of course, uh, there are aspects that are well known uh, usually, we used to say that uh, we know how to do it, we have all arguments on the table, but unfortunately, we are lagging behind in really using and connecting all these dots. So, uh, unfortunately, the times are coming over us, and uh, we really have to push and uh, try to demonstrate that all these opportunities could be very successful partnerships for the next uh, period. And uh, for saying that, I would like now to introduce uh, Dr. Jelustan, a graduate of the Galatia University, <laughs> a citizen. And uh, he was also the, the manager of one of the very important utility companies in uh, Galatia. But uh, Mr. Stan is well known as the executive director of this very important association, the National Association of Shipbuilders from Romania. Dr. Stan, you have the microphone. Please open your microphone. Thank you very much, Mr. Mamut. Uh, I would like to thank you very much uh, to our colleagues from, uh, from Ukraine. We as Romanian, we are uh, together with you. We, uh, we know what uh, was the result of this uh, bloody war. Of course, uh, you should fight uh, to, to recover your territory. But in few words, I would like to tell you something about the shipbuilding industry in, in Romania concerning shipbuilding, in fact. Romania has nine shipyards. Unfortunately, due to the actual situation in Europe, Shipbuilding activity in Romania is at the uh, lowest level in the last uh, 15 years. As you know very well, uh, due to the fact uh, China and Korea, South Korea uh, dominating this, uh, this field, because uh, as you know very well, they receive a lot of subsidies. Uh, in Romania, we have a uh, uh, lack of orders. Uh, the, the main shippers, I mean, Daman Galatz and Daman Mangalia, who are uh, one of our um, shippers in Romania, together with uh, Bart Trulce and Bart Breila, uh, who has uh, behind them uh, as uh, main shareholders, uh, Ficantieri, Italian Ficantieri Group, uh, also uh, they are suffering in this field, I mean, concerning the workers. This is one of our uh, big concerns. The second one, is a uh, lack of workforce. Just to have an idea after uh, uh, Romania entering in, uh, in, uh, in UE, uh, we have been faced with, uh, with a huge problem. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of good workers, blue and white color, left abroad for better salary. Even today in Romania, the salary in shipbuilding, it's almost, uh, let's say, uh, 1,000 euro brutto. Yeah? Uh, a lot of people uh, still uh, are uh, living uh, abroad, not only in Europe, but also in the uh, United States and also Canada. Uh, behind uh, this, let's say, two major problems, we, are, uh, we have been faced with this uh, COVID-19, 
who affected uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, workers. Uh, and uh, also your, let's say, war between uh, you and Ukraine affected us a lot because uh, the price for electricity and the natural gas increased it drastically. And uh, the cost per, uh, the total cost per ship uh, uh, increased too. That's why uh, uh, we are facing with a with, with, um, huge problem. Of course, in my idea, I think the best, uh, the best uh, uh, let's say, solution, as Mr. Mamutu said, is uh, each Ukrainian company should come in Romania and talk individually face to face in order to establish, uh, let's say, uh, the economical relation. Uh, we, as, we can be as advisor, but they should uh, go. Uh, directly and talk, uh, as I said, face-to-face. Uh, -face. Uh, what can I say in addition? Uh, of course, uh, it's not so easy uh, for, uh, let's say, for uh, uh, Ukrainian nation uh, to, 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 to reconstruct. Uh, I, I think you have some connection problems, uh, Dr. Stan. Maybe that is the microphone or something. We cannot... No, 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 no. Now it's better? But yeah, it is stored. No, is better now. Okay, uh, uh, I don't know when uh, was I stopped it, but uh, uh, yeah, I repeat again. Uh, uh, it I, was I, okay, Jello. It was okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the end, uh, again, uh, I would like to 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 thank you very much. Uh, to our friends uh, uh, from from uh, from Ukraine, we should uh, keep in touch and uh, to 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 be much more closer. And repeat again: please come in Romania and see what we can find together in order uh, to have a benefit for both parties. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Doctor Stan for uh, this uh, general, let's say, synthesis of the situation. We could say that, uh, of course, there are some complementarities and uh, there are some opportunities that could be identified in the current situation on both sides. And uh, of course, uh, it is important uh, also the willingness of, uh, of the Anconav to assist this process and facilitate the contacts between different uh, players. Now, uh, with your permission, I would like also to mention that here in the room, we have two ladies and I shall uh, ask uh, Mr. Stanislav to, to show a little bit the two ladies. So first of all, I would like to start with Mrs. Uh, Manuela Baciu. She is uh, representing the Chamber of Commerce of Galatz. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Bachu is uh, also uh, uh, heading the team from the Chamber of Commerce of Galatz that uh, is involved in the European Enterprise Network, a very important uh, network uh, that is providing the partnership between uh, companies. And next to her, just turn a little bit to the camera, please, is uh, also Mrs. Corina Urmoshi. Uh, oh, she's coming uh, next, uh, also representing the same European Enterprise Network from the Constanza Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and from that perspective, we could say that uh, we have all these connectivities, means, and uh, opportunities for uh, uh, supporting and uh, uh, developing uh, these uh, activities. So. Uh, in this uh, context, I would like also to say a few words about uh, the 4Bs uh, project and uh, the opportunities that we have with this uh, project. So um, the 4Bs uh, project is uh, a project that uh, is supported by uh, the European Commission, dedicated to uh, uh, give a boost to the blue uh, businesses, to blue growth businesses in our region in three major areas, particularly 
the maritime uh, transport, fisheries and aquaculture, and maritime uh, tourist, tourism. Uh, it is a, a project that is a support uh, activity. So in principle, you can see that the, the budget that uh, is allocated uh, by the commission for two years of this uh, project are uh, particularly dedicated to facilitate, to support the activities of the region in uh, the two major uh, strategies uh, that uh, the Commission is developing. The one is the so-called European Green Deal that uh, is uh, dedicated to the green transformation of the uh, European economy. Uh, and uh, you know very well that there are many components uh, that are um, uh, going to uh, be supported by the European uh, Commission in order to uh, let's say, integrate and uh, to uh, have uh, full-fledged examples of circular economy, of uh, proper management of the natural capital and uh, aspects related to uh, the integration of, uh, of um, uh, renewable energy sources. And also a new package that is, that is under uh, negotiation, the so-called Fit for 55, that um, is a package of, uh, of uh, regulations uh, that are negotiated at present at the European Parliament in order to uh, uh, have as uh, 2030 a deadline for cutting emissions by 55% and uh, to try to hit the net zero by 2050. Of course, there are many voices that this is not realistic, but uh, at the same time, uh, big uh, targets are uh, and have been always in the history the so-called transformation moments. So uh, in order to support uh, the businesses uh, and of course uh, the partnership between businesses and uh, the stakeholders in this part of the world, in the Black Sea region, so uh, it has been, uh, let's say, um, uh, supported this, uh, this project. Uh, the project is, of course, uh, for uh, promoting a new type of entrepreneurship and innovation. When we are talking about entrepreneurship, we are talking about, let's say, the shift from the profit maximization uh, vision towards responsibility and sustainability maximization of the, of the businesses. When we are talking about innovation, we are talking about orientation towards eco uh, innovation, towards, um, let's say, environmental concern innovation to develop creative solutions to protect the environment. And a very important emphasis is about digitalization. Digitalization in a complete uh, different approach in having digitalization as a new way of thinking, of behaving, and even uh, entering deeper into our mentality. So it's a very strong and uh, uh, deep, uh, let's say, transformational process that has to be uh, supported. So you know very well that um, in general, in this part of the world, the people are very creative. There are many ideas. There are many theoretical, let's say, uh, assumptions that uh, have been uh, initiated and uh, suggested. But in order to take them into life, there is the very well known Valley of Death, where from, uh, let's say, the idea towards the final projects that are consisting on products and services, there is uh, a need for, for support. And actually the 4Bs project is coming exactly here to support the bridging of uh, transforming the outcomes of uh, creative activities of innovation into real life uh, uh, businesses and investments. So the project, as I said, is a support uh, project, is dedicated for uh, Five regions is the southern part of uh, Ukraine, Odessa and Nikolaev area, 
is the region of Galazzi in, in Romania, is the region of Varna and Burgas in Bulgaria, is the northeast part of uh, Turkey, the so-called Trabzon area, and is the uh, area of uh, Ajaria in Georgia, which is around Batumi. So uh, the major, uh, let's say, aspect is that we have a consortium of nine project partners and 17 associated partners. And uh, all these uh, partners together with many other stakeholders, we are going to uh, map to uh, evaluate the needs, the real needs of the companies in uh, these uh, geographical areas. In those three sectors that I have mentioned, maritime transport and of course including shipbuilding, ship repair and other, all other support uh, services. And then uh, the, the sector of uh, aquaculture and fishery and the sector of maritime uh, and coastal tourism. So um, the uh, work plan of the project starts with this mapping process and then we design uh, pilot services to support these uh, companies. Then uh, we go to the testing and validation by selecting some pilot companies. And uh, finally, we are going to disseminate uh, these uh, results. So uh, uh, you can see the very ambitious indicators that uh, this uh, project um, has been committed to. So uh, we have five regions from the, from the area. We are uh, targeting a, in the range of 150 companies, particularly SMEs uh, and startups. We uh, are uh, going to identify 15 of them that has to be supported in uh, this period. And of course, uh, we are planning to uh, have the testing process and validation of the services that I mentioned. We are going to organize uh, regional events in order to bridge the regions uh, at the sector, the geographical areas in the Black Sea region. And uh, what is very important, we would like to facilitate the attraction of uh, investments and funds in the range of 15 million euros for all these uh, businesses. And of course, then uh, to develop different other uh, dissemination activities on TV, on digital platforms, and so on. So uh, you have seen that um, this is, um, let's say, the context. We have already the funds that are allocated by the Commission. As uh, Dr. Bikescu mentioned, we have all the means to start working. And uh, today we have initiated this uh, process by uh, organizing this uh, meeting. This meeting, of course, uh, it was not in the original plan because we didn't know that something like this could happen. And uh, this um, project uh, we discussed with, the, uh, let's say, uh, responsible officer from the commission and they accepted to uh, consider this uh, meeting as part of these uh, activities, not necessarily with the allocated budget, but uh, as an activity that um, has to be, uh, let's say, uh, in line with the implementation of the other activities. So in this uh, context, what we uh, propose at present is uh, now to uh, start, um, let's say, a sort of tour de table. We already have received something almost 20 uh, files with uh, expressions of interest for uh, business uh, uh, development and uh, establishing of partnerships. Some of those companies have been presented uh, by uh, Dr. Zukova. And uh, now uh, maybe you know better the ones that are already present here. So uh, we shall offer something like five minutes, three to five minutes, so not more to each of these uh, companies that are, that are now present, if they would like to say a few words about themselves and uh, about uh, their businesses as a, as a general, uh, uh, let's say, uh, as a general uh, 
presentation. And uh, then we shall establish how uh, we shall organize the bilateral meetings. Because, of course, uh, we were uh, considering and we have prepared already separate rooms for breakout groups uh, to meet each other and to discuss. But maybe it is too early for that. Maybe we, as also uh, Dr. Stan uh, mentioned, maybe this is uh, the very initial contact uh, process. And then each of us, we shall continue working with our partners from Ukraine and from Romania in order to facilitate their visits, their direct contacts, and so on. We shall not be involved in the business process. We, as uh, the consortium for these, we shall identify some of the needs and where it is a need for some support activities or services. There, we can uh, be there. We shall uh, help you in uh, uh, defining and uh, identifying uh, the partners, but also we could help you in uh, uh, defining some business cases to prepare them as requests for funding. There are some uh, opportunities for funding that are open during this uh, period. And uh, more than that, uh, we could uh, discuss with the Commission even to identify some dedicated funds for, this, um, for these partnerships. So, uh, Olga, uh, Olena, please, uh, if you would like to take now the microphone. On, on the, the other, other side, side uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Stan, Stan, maybe you know also, also better the partners, partners from Romania. Romania. So, so maybe, maybe you could introduce the ones, ones that would like, like to, to uh, introduce themselves. Uh, so uh, I welcome all, all uh, our colleagues from Ukraine. I see many of them with video. Uh, we know who is present here. So first of all, I would ask, is anybody uh, volunteering to be first one? Because it is uh, like a strong, not prepared speech. Maybe uh, Professor Zuko on behalf of Shizhok Nikolaev uh, can uh, uh, start the introduction of uh, his company. And then uh, uh, we see Mr. Bustov here. We see uh, Center of uh, Business Support, Olka Raku. We see uh, Alexei Zivenka, our Amika Digital. And uh, we can give the word. If you wish, you raise the hand uh, to be earlier. Otherwise, we will go around. And, and thank you, Professor Zhukov, please, your microphone. Yeah, hello, everybody. Uh, nice to meet all of you. This is a very specific and a very important meeting because uh, this is very important for us. And uh, also it uh, can be important for our future collaboration, mutually beneficial cooperation, which uh, was uh, all the time the main uh, philosophy of uh, most of our maritime cluster participants. I'm uh, representing, uh, I can represent several companies because uh, uh, for the last uh, 45 years, I'm uh, doing different businesses. As uh, Elena present me, I'm uh, now presenting the C-Job Nikolaev company, uh, which is an independent company in Ukraine, design and engineering for ship uh, design. Uh, for ships and vessels and the Navy vessels also including. Um, and we are part of the group, uh, international group uh, under the franchising uh, brand of CJOB. Uh, our partners are in the Netherlands, in Bulgaria, in uh, Poland, Greece, uh, United States. And this is a wide range of our uh, supply and engineering. And uh, our proposition uh, and um, our uh, partners from all over the world were asking how can we support you in such kind uh, of hard times we told uh, okay we need uh, just not to interrupt contracts which are on the go and we promised them that we'll do all the best uh, not to uh, stop or be not in time and our people was distributed uh, in ukraine because uh, some of them cannot be in uh, in nikolaev in ukraine so they distributed, but all contracts, which was continuing, was uh, done in time, as now a lot of vessels are 
not under the construction, but already uh, in the operation, which were designed and engineered in, in, in our group. Uh, the second uh, part of um, our activity is a, a, a digital innovation in the monitoring and instrumentation part. Maritime instrumentation department, uh, which I am the head uh, for more than th nearly 30, 30 years in the university, uh, and our uh, graduates are doing a, a lot of businesses, and one of these is a monitoring business for safety of um, uh, maritime structure, uh, oil and gas uh, supply and uh, transporting uh, terminals, and also nuclear power station and so on. And the uh, seventh generation of these technologies are, are developed uh, two years ago and have all certificates according to the European requirements. And uh, Alexei will tell you a little bit more about this. And uh, the last but not the least, uh, this is um, education. Uh, because uh, in our university, we have a, a very nice um, uh, chairs and the departments who are already in digital understanding and digital training and digital um, uh, philosophy and how it is called uh, uh, for uh, industry for zero paradigm. Uh, and from this point of view, I am very interested in the uh, uh, visibility study which you have in your program for organizing DIG for Black Sea Blue Economy. Uh, we can be participating, we can participate in this not only from the research part, but also industrialization part and be uh, directly useful for uh, industries in our all our countries. Uh, so in short, this is uh, my presentation because of lack of time. And uh, I wish you all good luck and uh, nice day and nice weeks coming. And for Ukrainian partners, uh, silent nights. Yeah. Thank you for this opportunity, uh, Professor Mahmoud. Uh, Professor Jelustan, also we had a lot uh, uh, in our history cooperation in, in uh, 20 years before this day. It was very ple uh, big pleasure to see you all and to talk to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you, thank Professor you. Zhukov. Uh, uh, that's a very nice introduction. I would like to pass, and we will have more chances to uh, build the network further. I would like to give a word of uh, welcome to uh, Mr. Dmitry Busov. Uh, you're welcome, please, a couple of words about your company, some of your expectations, and uh, for the next uh, two of you, I think. Uh, thank you, Elena. Uh, hello for everyone. First of all, I would like to say thank you for this invitation on this beautiful meeting. And I'm, I'm having had a lot of uh, opportunities uh, how to create a business in the future. I'm, inter I'm a chief engineer of state research and design to building center from Nikolaev. And um, we have um, uh, 47 years of uh, experience in uh, shipbuilding in the different di directions of shipbuilding. And we're ready to offer our wide range of projects of, of our existing projects. Uh, for our uh, future uh, new partners and uh, ready to participate in every uh, uh, program uh, in the Black Sea region and not only the in Black Sea. Uh, our company uh, specialized on exactly on the ship design and we are ready uh, uh, to offer a full uh, range of- Can you, 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 you make a little louder? Could you speak a little louder? Uh, yes. Okay, and, and we, we are ready to offer a full range of design services, beginning from the concept ideas up to the detailed design and maintenance of life, life cycle of the ship and ships and vessels. We also has experience. We also have, have experience in, in, in creation, different uh, training center and special floating units. And uh, uh, our staff is around 200 people. And uh, despite the not uh, easiest time in Ukraine, we uh, reordered and organized our production lines. And, and uh, we don't ready. hear you now. Do you hear me? 
Dima, Dima, Dima. Ya, da. Okay. Do you yeah. hear me? Yeah, thank, thank you. Thanks for the short introduction. We will uh, have a nice opportunity to go closer to the product range and at a special niche, of course, which uh, requires uh, permission also to deal with. But uh, thank you, uh, thank you very much for your time, and we do real steps also to uh, start our cooperation between Romania and Ukraine on this level. Uh, I would like much. to uh, pass the word to uh, Alexei Zivenka. Josh, are you ready? Is it convenient for you to uh, say a couple of words now about uh, yourself and uh, the company? Hello to all. Do you hear me? Thank you for this meeting. And um, I would like to share my screen if it's possible. Oh. Do you see my screen? No? Not yet, 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 yet. Dr. Zivenka represents uh, the uh, Amica Digital uh, Company, the startup in the field of uh, uh, digitalization, also with uh, intellectual systems uh, for measurements, for physical measurements. Some technical issues. I can share my screen. Uh, maybe I say just a couple of words now, just a two minute introduction about company and then the next okay. one we share more precise information. Uh, okay, I, I will tell a few words about our company. Uh, we were established two years ago and we are the part of Amica Group. We produce uh, informational systems for oil and gas industry. First of all, it's measurement systems for uh, liquid petroleum gases for uh, other gases under pressures. And our need today, our project is connected with blue economy and ecological uh, part of it about ammonia storages and the use of ammonia as marine fuel. Uh, we are interested in partners in this way, and we are also need a partner in a data processing for uh, cloud storages uh, use uh, and uh, the processing of the data of fuel concept consumption to reduce uh, carbon uh, and hydrocarbon uh, gases from uh, marine uh, ships. That's all for short. Thank you for participation. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, thanks yeah, a lot, yeah, Alexei. Yeah. Uh, we uh, know that you're also involved not only in business, not only in new development, also in education, uh, that you're a scientist and a uh, professor yourself. So uh, we hope that that also is a good example how other partners in FUBIS can do when some people can do it like in one hand. So we uh, call everyone for uh, such a combination of uh, science, uh, business, education, and making policies. So I would like to give a couple of words to Stanislav to represent company Marine Design Engineering Nikolaev. Uh, we also applied for a, a participation as a company, uh, not only on the cluster behalf, but as a, a business entity. Stanislav? Uh, hello. Hello to everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the opportunity of being here. Uh, so uh, we're happy to to be alive on this meeting and uh, uh, to visit uh, uh, several uh, assemblies and meetings during our business trip uh, uh, with the help of uh, uh, Professor Mahmoud. So thanks a lot for that. A couple of words about our company. Uh, we represent here uh, not only Ukraine Marine Time Cluster, but uh, MDM, Marine Design Engineering Kalaev, which is uh, part of Damen. Um, uh, for 15 years, uh, we have been uh, providing a high quality uh, ship design projects. Uh, so starting from R&D and uh, up to the engineering, 
uh, for different uh, type of ships, a uh, wide range for almost all the all types of ship that Daman is produced in the shipyard, as well as uh, um, as well as yard support, uh, uh, trials, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we are multi-service uh, company, so we also cover the needs of Daman uh, in respect of different services, starting from R and D uh, and uh, digital platforms, uh, standards and documentation, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so. Uh, I would like also to mention that uh, uh, MDM uh, has been one of the founders of uh, uh, our Ukrainian maritime cluster and is uh, paying much efforts in this respect. So thank you for your attention. Uh, I would like to give a word to uh, uh, one of the founders uh, of uh, the cluster to our business support center. Uh, they not only uh, they participate in foundation of it, but also uh, pursuing such uh, similar kind of activities for the business community for many years, have international experience also including grant projects and uh, we uh, hope for a lot more to do together mm -hmm. and in maritime sphere, which is not only limited for uh, business support center, they deal with other industries to Olga, uh, the floor is yours please. Yeah, thank you, Elena. Uh, first, greetings from Mikolaev. It's a great pleasure to join you today, and it's a big pleasure to be the associated partner uh, within the implementing the 4Bs project. Uh, uh, shortly about the Business Support Center, so we are here in Mikolaev, but we uh, cover all the South region in implementing the uh, economic development projects in Ukraine, and we understand that one of the priority is the shipbuilding, the maritime uh, industry, and maritime um like a community because it's one of the uh, general priority for the southern regions of ukraine uh, as for the, our experience in implementing the projects uh, on the national level on the regional level and also in cooperation with our uh, our uh, european partners so one of the big projects uh, we implement in this industry is the aquabator uh, it deals with the buildings uh, uh, it's its name is aquabater and it uh, deals with is building the first demonstrator uh, here in the south of Ukraine in order to uh, show to the future uh, businesses uh, in this uh, um, um, direction here. Yeah. Uh, all the process uh, starting uh, the registration of the company and to the uh, end point of uh, selling the product uh, products to the national regional market and also to the European like the exporting. Uh, but here within this project we understand uh, our responsibility in order to organize a good uh, business ecosystem and to uh, implement and to share the best European practices in the shipbuilding here yeah, and to uh, like the um, multiply the new technologies, the new approaches to uh, uh, governing yet to, uh, running business uh, in the uh, maritime industry and also to join all the uh, players, yeah, like the market players, uh, not only from Mikolaya, but also from uh, Odessa region and from all regions of Ukraine uh, that uh, uh, are from this, uh, from this industry. And we believe that we will be able to also um, like share this with our partners from uh, Kherson region in future. Uh, so thank you one more time for the ability to uh, join you today and we and for the ability to um, yeah, like to see you here and to uh, know a, a little bit more about your companies, about the projects and about your vision of uh, developing the cooperation between uh, Ukraine and, uh, um, and Romania and also uh, between other nine uh, partners uh, that we will um, start the, uh, 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 like the implementers of this project. Thank you. Yes, yeah, thanks Olga a lot. Uh, uh, I would uh, like to give a word, but it will be inconvenient now to Alisa. She is traveling, but uh, she is representing here our National University of Shipbuilding as a consortium partner in for this. Uh, 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 Half, half of us, I mean, we are also employees of National University of Shipbuilding, so just uh, will say a couple of words here uh, on behalf of the university. Uh, we uh, hope to continue uh, our membership in the Black Sea University Network, which was preliminary agreed with uh, uh, Mr. Tushrekov, Dr. Tushrekov, Rector of University. We will do the steps in the nearest weeks, I think. 
we are very glad to be uh, uh, to represent our university here because this is a credo of most of our specialists. Uh, we also know the hardships which uh, now exist for the uh, learning process, for study process, for research, for uh, overall keeping the organization running in this difficult time. We, but however, what we are doing now, we are enrolling some of our uh, specialists for master programs because it is high time to also stay in touch with the modern programs. We also uh, apply for the uh, master degrees in the uh, Red Earth University in Galat. So, some, so that I think will open very special opportunities for us to compare uh, similar programs, master degrees uh, in uh, naval architecture. We will see maybe other specializations that will be also possible to enrich it with our practical experience, with our technological experience, where the businesses cooperate with the university already, lay it into the programs, uh, share it, and maybe uh, apply for dual diploma programs between our universities to uh, really merge that our uh, young people can uh, study here, can work here, and they would not feel the borders too much, so they can be feeling part of this uh, community easily. And uh, of course, uh, a lot of PhDs and a lot of uh, other uh, uh, degrees achievements, uh, their joint thesis and uh, scientific projects, I hope we can do uh, together. So on behalf of university and to the university community, I thank very much for this possibility and I have a lot of expectations to go ahead educationally and scientifically too. So uh, thanks a lot, Professor uh, Mamou. Uh, this is, uh, I think, from uh, our applicants, uh, uh, all who are present uh, for now we, we also uh, yeah so we could um, proceed now how you uh, see the uh, matchmaking uh, next steps okay, and so they I'm, all, I'm but it's not, the yeah are ready to do uh, anything on your request <laughs> thank you thank you very much Dr. Zikova. so um, this is uh, really very important uh, you have seen that um, we could, uh, let's say, consider this uh, from several perspectives. Uh, you have seen that there are uh, different opportunities. Unfortunately, Dr. Stan informed me that uh, he had to leave this meeting, but we have here also uh, Professor Kirika that uh, is uh, from uh, actually three heads. Uh, one head uh, as uh, a member uh, of the board of the Ancona for, uh, let's say, scientific uh, research and innovation uh, activities. The other head is uh, as a retired professor of Galatz University, Lower Danube University, but he is continuing his activity at the university. And the third head is uh, as a, as a let's say, businessman <laughs> uh, involved in uh, ship design uh, galas. So just to say hello to us, uh, Professor Kirika. <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, I uh, will discuss uh, something about one head. <laughs> 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 one on behalf of one head. Uh, that head is uh, from uh, from ship design group. I will uh, I will uh, do some some uh, presentation. Oh, a small presentation about uh, this company. This company was uh, uh, beginning uh, uh, the activity. Uh, in 25 years, more than 25 years uh, ago, in Galatz, uh, Romania, as a Romanian company, and uh, uh, activity uh, is uh, design in ship building, uh, research, and consultancy. Uh, uh, in uh, we uh, the, the main Activity is based on design of uh, uh, maritime and uh, river ships. Uh, we have uh, many customers. Uh, the most uh, part is uh, from abroad. That means uh, most part is from uh, Netherlands. 
Uh, but uh, our activity of research uh, was performed uh, within the national and European projects related with shipbuilding. Uh, just uh, one year ago, one year ago, we have finished uh, activity on. Uh, uh, one uh, uh, design uh, project uh, led by uh, an uh, Austrian partner, and our activity was to to perform the the uh, uh, conceptual design of. Uh, uh, low emission uh, ship, that means uh, pusher, uh, uh, based on LNG propulsion. Uh, our interest is uh, to, in this period, is to, to design and to uh, propose uh, new ships with low emission and just no emission according to the European law. And uh, uh, because in the former activity, a lot of uh, ships design in uh, our company was uh, developed and uh, just was uh, applied in, uh, in uh, 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 sh uh, shipyards. Our research is accredited by, uh, according to Romanian law, and also we have uh, so named NCAGE, NATO accreditation. Uh, our, uh, our research activity is based on uh, uh, digital uh, tools, and uh, we have uh, modern uh, systems uh, for design. Also, we use here uh, finite element models and, uh, and uh, another, another uh, models. Uh, we have also accreditation according to, or certification according to ISO uh, 9001, 14001, 45001, that are the most important uh, uh, the most important uh, uh, tools for our design. We, we can, we can, uh, we can uh, provide more than 150,000 work hours per year. That means uh, 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 good, uh, good activity that we can, can develop for shipbuilding. Thank you for for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Kirika, for uh, this introduction. Uh, as I said um, here, uh, our uh, intention, it was first of all to understand uh, better what is the need on behalf of the Ukrainian colleagues, and then uh, to identify pathways how to proceed. So as I uh, was presenting mm -hmm. earlier, in uh, this period, we are in the process of defining this uh, mapping uh, process. So uh, uh, you already have received a very preliminary form for presenting your uh, business proposal. Now, based uh, on this initial interest, we shall come back to you with a second form with a little bit more detailed information. We would like to know and to understand better what kind of needs uh, in detail uh, you have and uh, in order to go further and to understand exactly how we can uh, uh, support you. So some of the companies, for instance, in Ukraine, uh, they could be interested in uh, developing their activities locally. Some of the companies in Romania also, they might be interested to use the local opportunities. And here it is one part of the problem. The second part of the problem is about matchmaking cross-border between Romania and Ukraine. 
And the third one is the regionalization by involving also other players from Turkey, from Bulgaria, or uh, from Greece, or from other uh, countries from this region. So these are the three levels on which uh, we shall address uh, these uh, opportunities. Then, of course, uh, you will ask me how is going to happen with the success. So uh, usually there are three ways of supporting uh, business uh, opportunities. The first one is the, the so-called betting on the winning horse. What means that we have to identify those companies that are performant, that are ready to pass through the walls, <laughs> that are ready to survive over the very depth drought, that are ready to pass over challenges. And then, of course, when we have such a winning horses to identify possibilities to uh, support them, to get more money, uh, more, uh, let's say, uh, scientific research results, uh, marketing support, human resources support, and different other services in order to uh, use their potential. So this is going to be the first group of companies. More or less five companies from all this region will be selected as winning horses. If we shall have more, that's better but at least we have to fight the five winning horses. The second group is based on the principle, guru is waiting for you at the half road. What means guru is waiting for you at the half road? This is a principle coming from Hinduism, from the, let's say, uh, Indian type of philosophy, which means that in order to obtain the support that might be of knowledge support or funding support or different other support, you have to make your own steps. So you have to show that you are ready to stand on your own feet and to uh, try to develop something, to pass over different difficulties, and you are ready to do something doesn't matter if it is a small scale or a larger scale, but that demonstrates your commitment to do business. So those companies that will do some steps further, then we shall identify them and together with them, we shall work how they could redesign and they could reshape their uh, activities. And the, this is also about five companies. If it will be larger, it will be okay, but at least we want to uh, identify five uh, companies. And the third group is about seeds for the future. So this means that there are different graduates, very young, uh, that um, don't, don't know that something is not possible. <laughs> and because they don't know that something is not possible, they try it and they make it. So we try to find and to identify this kind of, um, let's say, very young entrepreneurs that uh, uh, have some ideas, they thought that they can make it, and we really want to give them uh, the wings to fly. So uh, we shall identify about five companies in which we shall invest our support just in order to find out how they can uh, do it. And we want to build some success stories. So this process of mapping has the, let's say, final goal to identify, first of all, companies, as I said, that are willing to do something, that are ready to, to fight for it, and uh, they know how to, uh, to make it. Uh, and uh, we want to have them from these uh, three groups. And of course, then uh, we are uh, uh, in the position to uh, design this support activity. So you have seen uh, the colleagues from Igor Sikorsky National uh, uh, Technical University of Ukraine. They are a reference uh, group of experts from the region. Uh, 
you know that uh, we have also in the consortium the National University of Economical Studies here in uh, Romania, in Bucharest. And we have a very strong beam for business support from their side. We have the Chamber of Commerce of Galats. We have this European Enterprise Network. We have uh, different uh, regional support agencies. And besides of that, we have a consortium of representatives from the European Commission projects, but also from different business accelerators and business angels that could support these uh, companies. So uh, this is our uh, plan. And of course, uh, uh, nobody knows everything. We would like to uh, learn also from your experience. Uh, you know that uh, generally, the, uh, I, I probably some of you know that I belong to a Crimean Tatar community. So my ancestors have been uh, born in Crimea. And in 1860s, uh, we ran from Crimea. We were, um, let's say, pushed out by the, the Russian um, uh, forces. And we established here in this beautiful uh, region of Dobroja. And uh, what the, in our uh, folklore, in our culture, they say, don't ask the one who knows everything. Ask the one who tried to do something, who unfortunately failed, and he learned from the failures. So uh, we are ready to learn from all of you that uh, tried to do something. Uh, you, of course, succeeded to do some, some in some cases. In some other cases, uh, you have some failures, but you know why you have your failures, and we are ready to support you. So this is the plan. Now, I'm really happy that we already have a group of companies that are committed. And now I would like to ask uh, you if, uh, besides of the plan that I have presented you, we could also identify something like, we can call them like lighthouse initiatives. For instance, I have seen uh, the C Group, the C Job, uh, and also the ship design company, and uh, there are other companies that are specialized in engineering. Maybe we could identify uh, an initiative for an original joint Romanian-Ukrainian concept for a green vessel. So you know that there are many attempts like this. There were some uh, uh, initiatives under the SIA, the, the largest European association of ship uh, builders uh, and ship, uh, shipping companies in Europe. And uh, there are more than 20 years that, uh, of works and efforts to define this kind of concepts. But uh, in our case, for the region of Danube and uh, for the, let's say, uh, Nieper area and other inland, uh, inland, water, inland waterways, also for short sea shipping, there are some specific aspects. And uh, there is plenty of experience in uh, trying to define something like a concept design. And, uh, uniting the efforts on the two sides of the border to come up with something that is really valuable, is optimal, and is tailored for the realities and the opportunities here. Because of course, when you are rich, like in the Netherlands, the Netherlands, they, they know how to use the resources. But uh, in general speaking, when you are poor, then you have to use your neurons and you have new ideas and so on. When you are rich, okay, you can afford to do different things even if they are expensive. So what is your opinion? This is a question to all of you. What is your opinion if we shall start this kind of, let's say, uh, lighthouse initiatives? We can do it one on green ships dedicated for this region. We can do also something dedicated to oil and gas sector, because here uh, we are talking about this problem of, uh, of gas exploitation on the western uh, part of the Black Sea. But the gas exploitation aspects uh, 
on the western side of the Black Sea, there are some specific aspects really dedicated to the depth and the types of technologies that are, uh, uh, let's say, available for, uh, for this exploitation. And unfortunately, now we have to take into consideration the security aspects. So uh, from that perspective, I think that uh, another uh, very interesting uh, area might be uh, the area of, uh, let's say, uh, oil and gas uh, sector. The third one, it might be related to agriculture and, uh, and food for, uh, let's say, aquaculture, mariculture, or combining this with agriculture things and, and uh, so on. So these three elements, I think, uh, to not extend with too many because we don't have resources, but uh, to find out some uh, areas, we can make, uh, develop some uh, working groups. They could start uh, working together and step by step, we shall work with the commission also to uh, support and to find uh, some funding resources for this. Uh, we have plenty of connections, so no, we don't worry about uh, this kind of connection. So my question to everybody, and uh, if somebody would like to, to give uh, an opinion or a comment, use this uh, hand uh, button that is uh, raise your hand and we shall offer you the microphone. So uh, just uh, let us know and uh, we would like to have your feedback. Thank you. So Professor uh, Zukov. Please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, first is uh, complete hundred percent support of your ideas. These are also our ideas from the beginning of uh, our activities in uh, innovative companies. Uh, cooperation is much more effective than competition. From this point of view, we need to cooperate for sure in Black Sea region. And um, uh, we have several ideas. Uh, and it, we are trying to have uh, financial support uh, uh, with uh, the support of our uh, association of clusters of Ukraine, which are multi-industrial. Uh, practically 80% of industries are already involved and we have a match, matching uh, platform, but it will be much better uh, to combine your matching platforms and our matching platforms but uh, to be on the practical side, I have already several propositions with my partners uh, for the bigger uh, yeah, ideas which can combine for the mutually beneficial uh, project for all parties involved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zukov. Uh, so now we are passing uh, to Mr. Busso. Mitri, but please uh, use your microphone closer to you and because uh, uh, we don't hear you. And, uh, okay, and now you hear, hear me well? Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I think that uh, the all topics which has been mentioned, that, uh, all, all of them are very interesting. And, uh, but, um, at first glance, I would mention that uh, from uh, with, uh, the topics which my company uh, have uh, quite big experience. At first of all, it is the some questions of the security uh, uh, and uh, very interesting topics about the green uh, energy, about the zero emissions. I think it's uh, good uh, directions which could be involved a lot of uh, efforts and uh, it's uh, very beneficial for all participants on this topic. And uh, I think it's very interesting to participate and to uh, to conduct some research in those directions. Yes, uh, I of course also would like to support the initiative to uh, have a discussion about uh, what kind of uh, product uh, we could uh, come up with uh, to the benefit of the region and of our cooperation. There is a, a, a lot of uh, engineering companies right here. They have the innovation, they have their portfolio, and uh, 
if within our activities we could make a place or a marketplace or something where we could just uh, let them share the ideas and that would be visualized like project ideas, it would be uh, very helpful because then everybody could see each other's ideas and then we could uh, speak about joint product. Uh, however, we already would have uh, the uh, portfolio applications to, to talk to the Euro Commission. So even if the, there would be a study to compare available knowledge and uh, make activities to discuss about optimal design, cannot be optimal for everything, but something which would fit a lot of uh, benefits of the areas we are concerned uh, or the uh, partnerships we are making, it would be a very good next step because engineering companies, they are first in the product development cycle. So, so definitely their ideas would later be followed by the production companies, the manufacturers. Because we have a smaller uh, ships, we have bigger ships, we have uh, green, we have not green, but for the purpose. So there is plenty of ideas to share. And if we could visualize it on the platform, that would be great, I think. Uh, not only for your commission, I think for ourselves, we will see the number of uh, initiatives. Also, not all the attendees I hear from what I heard, because there were also two Romanian companies in engineering applying during our meeting with Antonov. So they were also asking about uh, what kind of car to use or place orders for outsourcing. So it is not only the ideas and concepts we can exchange, but also the competences our companies have, because it would be much easier to find partners when we have like a marketplace for competences. Strange calculations, a couple of companies being there, they do have this opportunity, they do it in multiple software, they do it with different methods. So it is a very good discussion involving university for doing this together. Because for digital innovation hub or for enriching uh, innovation uh, growth, uh, we need these uh, trainings and the virtual maritime competence center, the idea which I think everyone shares. Because if somebody knows that there is a challenge, how to make somebody else know. So we could uh, match uh, training activities, knowledge sharing activities, and sharing actually what kind of design that all we have. It will be possible to come up with a joint product uh, when we know our capacities better. So it's a great idea, and uh, I think we can support it with the platform, with the one we have had in four in mind, just additional functionality of visualization. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, there is already uh, some contacts that have been uh, presented here by Mr. Ruto, but. We know each other uh, very well. So in principle, uh, now uh, you have the last five minutes if you want to add something to this. So if somebody would like to say some words uh, before closure, are any? No? OK, so uh, in principle, um, I think uh, it was a very important, uh, let's say, meeting. I could say even that the date of 18 of August 2022 will be a historical uh, milestone for uh, starting this uh, new approach, this cross-border approach, because, of course, uh, we all participated in some European consortia, we did something, but it is the first time when the neighbors are, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, considering the future cooperation jointly. And uh, this uh, approach is very straightforward. Uh, we have a very clear path. We have all our means. We have the determination, so it's it's everything there, and everything depends on us. So now we cannot claim, nor uh, uh, Russians, uh, others, uh, neither uh, anyone. We just we will be responsible if this uh, story that starts today will be a success story or it will be a failure. So it depends only on us. Uh, so from that perspective. Uh, we shall try to uh, offer, uh, let's say, the facilities. Uh, we shall uh, try to propose uh, also a work plan for this activity. So uh, uh, the way in which you will answer 
uh, and you have to see yourself as co-authors of these uh, activities. So you have to come with your initiative. You have to come with your proposal. You have to come with uh, your, uh, uh, how can I say, proposal for, uh, for uh, uh, coordinating something, not only to follow something. So it has to be a proactive approach. And uh, if uh, something like that uh, will be succeeded, it will be a small snowball that could generate a snowball uh, effect. So thank you everyone for participation. Thank you, um, Olena, and uh, thank you, Stanislav, and uh, the colleagues uh, here that uh, are coming. Thank you to Mrs. Baciu that uh, she came uh, from Galazzi to Constanza specifically for the activity today and yesterday. And uh, also to all of you for your, uh, for your time. I would like to thank also to my team here. You can see them on the other side. So uh, Andrea Presura is uh, the, the person who uh, is involved uh, always uh, in, uh, let's say, in contacts with you. Uh, Claudia Shiromashchenko, she has some Ukrainian roots. Shiromashchenko is a Ukrainian root, uh, let's say, family name. We have uh, Dr. Laurentiu Wancha, who is uh, doing the person who is doing everything <laughs> in a nutshell, but we have also Ciprian and Madeline, two of our students. We consider that they will be the successful graduates that will start businesses and uh, uh, will, uh, will uh, fruitify, let's say, the, the things that we started uh, today. So a small team, very committed in your service. So uh, thank you uh, all for participation. We shall keep, uh, let's say, uh, connecting uh, with you. And from now on, we have to consider ourselves as a team. So we take it and we will make it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bon appétit. Thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day. We'll do our next steps and we'll inform you all the new course. Have a nice day. Please connect us. Please.